There are a few market mechanics that you might have missed in Lost Ark that you can take advantage of to make more gold than you already are. Let's discuss them with an example. In my inventory right now, I have 300 tool crafting parts I want to sell. Tool crafting parts are currently listed at 6 gold. If we take a look at my crafting profitability spreadsheet, which is available for free and linked in the description, based on the current ingredient prices, we can see that if we buy the ingredients, make the tool crafting parts, and sell them at 6 gold, we will make a profit of 11.2 gold per hour and a total profit on our 300 tool crafting parts of 111 gold. It's a small profit, but if you need gold immediately to start your production cycle or pay your market deposits, selling them at 6 gold is not a bad option. However, matching the lowest price is not the option I normally choose for this item. The reason why is pretty simple. If I can manage to sell them for 7 gold instead of 6 gold, our profit per hour for putting these in our crafting queue shoots up from 11.2 to 41.2, and our total profit is 411 instead of 111. It's a much better deal overall. It's a better trade for the 10 hours of crafting queue time it took to craft these, and it's a better trade for the stronghold energy it took to craft these. The trade-off to sell at a higher price is that the items will sell more slowly, so if you desperately need the gold right now, that is, if not having the gold is preventing you from crafting or listing more items, this might not be the right option. But these items don't have to sit on the market for that much longer before there's a very good chance they'll start to sell at the higher price point. And if you use a 3 day listing period instead of a 1 day listing period, your ability to sell at a higher price gets much better. Let me explain why this is. If we look at the listings for tool crafting parts, we see that there are 80 listed at 6 gold and that there are 2,342 listed at 7 gold. What might not have occurred to you is that if you match another listing's price, your items go in line behind their items. Their items will sell first. So when I list my 300 crafting parts at 7 gold, they go to the back of the 7 gold line. These 2,342 parts need to get out of line or be sold before mine can be sold. You can have a much easier time holding the front of the line by listing your items for three days instead of one day. Let's think about this for a minute. A one day listing is the default and it requires a less expensive listing deposit, so I assume most people in most circumstances choose the one day listing. So at the moment I list these 300 tool crafting parts, there are 2,342 in front of me in line. If we wait 24 hours, most, if not all of these, are either going to be bought or their listings are going to expire and they'll be sent back to their owners. So if you use a 3 day listing and just wait the first 24 hours, the only people who could possibly be in front of you in line at that price point are other people who also used 3 day listings. And if I had to guess, 3 day listings are not a very common practice because the listing deposit is much more expensive. So, for the next 48 hours, it's very likely that you will be at the front of the line for that price point and that you'll start making sales as soon as the cheaper listings sell out. And if you aimed too high and ended up choosing a listing that was too expensive, you just need to wait the 3 days to get back both your items and your full deposit. So, in sum, if you're patient and can afford to wait an extra day or two on your profits, and if you can afford to have more of your money sitting in larger market deposits, you have the potential to greatly increase the size of your profits by listing your products at a higher price point for three days.